Hello and welcome back guys to another video of Kuhong Tutorials with Everything Design. In this video, we will be discussing the material and component tool in Kuhong and how you can use it to enhance your design process. Mainly roofs. You will learn how to create these type of roofs. To start, open the material and component tool and select arc. The arc tool allows you to create different types of curved shapes and forms. As you can see you can move it alongside any edge on all axes, X, Y and Z. The push and pull tool allows you to modify the shape of sandy objects in your design. This tool is especially useful when you want to create custom shapes or modify existing ones. You can push a surface inward or outward to create a cavity or bulge. To use the push tool, select the surface that you want to modify and then click and drag the surface in the direction that you want to push it. You can adjust the amount of push by dragging the arrow or by entering a numerical value in the input field. The pull tool, on the other hand, allows you to pull a surface in a specific direction to create an extension or extrusion. The line tool helps you cut surfaces or separate them. First ceiling I'll show you is this one here. Drag the arc alongside the Z-axis then push and pull in any direction to form the shape here. To close the shape, just draw the arc again. You can delete faces to make it thin and appear like fabric heading from ceiling. It looks nice for wedding designs. Select the shape to duplicate and drag to place. Next the weighty ceiling, same thing select arc and drag in z-axis and push to create your desired shape. You can select and move the faces separately. Same for the shape here. Del Delete the bottom and side faces to have an inner curve which then you can change its material to luminous or add spotlights to.
This dome ceiling is beautiful, and it's easy to make drag the arc alongside the ceiling on Z-axis. Pull to the parallel wall. Delete bottom face, and for this to work, make sure to label the room terrace, or the original ceiling will be visible, and won't show your curved one. Select side faces, if you have open space plan. And delete them. Make the wall shorter, if you want a hollow and curved ceiling. Now for vertical cylinders as you can see you can add depth using the offset tool. Push the inner shape or the outer one. You will need to apply this to every ceiling just to make it more realistic. You can control the degree of your arc, so it can fit on different wall lengths. Apparently mine is not precise. Make sure to get your measurement checked, and don't be like me. Delete the faces, and you now have a crooked roof. I hope this video was helpful in teaching you how to use the art tool in material and components. Subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like these. Like and share if you like it, and if you have any questions leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.